I'm driving 400 miles to buy a 700 pound lot of untested consoles from Goodwill, and on the way, I'm stopping at as many GameStops as possible to see if we can find some interesting goodies. Guys, welcome to the Hampton Hall. All right, guys, we are here at CHKD Thrift Store in Virginia somewhere. We're gonna check it out, see if we can find some video games, so let's go. All right, guys, so we just went into this thrift store here. Uh, very interesting experience, didn't find too much. We searched the whole store, couldn't find any video game related stuff until we got to the front and looked inside of the glass case and found that they had a switch for $350. Mind you, this is a used switch. Don't know what was going on there. They also had a DSi and a case for 80 bucks. Again, way overpriced. And um, the store employee seemed to know a little too much about that DS, said there was some, uh, some pre-installed selfies. It comes with selfies <laughs> pre-installed. And uh, it was Grant's old DS. I don't know who's, who Grant is. But <laughs> the previous time, right now. You know a lot about it. <laughs> <laughs> but a uh, pretty interesting place. Uh, let's go ahead and head on to the next floor now. All right, guys, we're at a GameStop. We're gonna go in and see if we can find some interesting used and refurbished consoles and see what we find. All right guys, so we just hit this GameStop and it was about how you'd expect from a GameStop. They did have the new Super Mario Wonder demo. Uh, we didn't have time to play it, but we uh, checked out the consoles there. They had some used consoles, uh, nothing too crazy interesting, so we passed there, but we'll go to the next GameStop and see if we can find something more interesting. All right guys, here at GameStop in Virginia. Don't know where in Virginia, but we're here somewhere. We're gonna go check it out, see if we can find some cool consoles. Like you have 52,000 points just sitting here. Is that a lot? Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, so we hit that GameStop and they had some interesting stuff. Uh, we came across this switch, which I'll show you in depth later, but it, had, it looks kind of jacked up. Like it had a, it looks like somebody's replaced the screen at some time. So, you know, I had to buy it. The person there was very confused as to why I was buying the wonky switch, but we bought it anyway. And we even got this pretty cool Spider Man 2 bag since it comes out soon. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and hit up the next door now. All right, guys, we are in a mall, going to a mall GameStop. Had some adventurous parking, but let's go ahead and check out this, this place and see if they have anything interesting. All right, guys, so that was a really interesting GameStop inside of a mall, and there was just nobody there. GameStop didn't have much, but they did pull out some DS and 3DS games from the back. And we ended up picking up some. Uh, it was buy two, get one free, so let me pull those out. All right, so they're in the classic little weird GameStop cases, but first of all, we got Mario Kart DS, which I, I feel like was $19.99, I don't, I don't know. Sometimes these prices are wrong compared to what they actually charge me for. We got Super Mario Bros. 2 uh, for the 3DS, then Mario, Par Mario Party DS, and uh, yeah, just kind of interesting that you can buy DS and 3DS games from, from GameStop here in 2023, but let's go ahead and go on to the next one. All right, guys, we're at GameStop number 45. Uh, let's see if they have any GameStops. All right, guys, so that was a pretty interesting GameStop run. First of all, we found a 3DS, which is awesome, an actual ret retro console. Um, got it here in this bag, but they, the person there, I talked to him, and they also confirmed that they're starting to get back into the retro game. Gonna have some, you know, like PS2 consoles, PS3, 360 consoles soon which is very cool to see. I'm excited for that. Excited to see some more Bolt mods, but uh, let's go ahead and check out the 3DS we got. So classic GameStop, it's in a bag. I paid 130 for this, which is like definitely high, but honestly not outrageous uh, for a 3DS. I mean, like, to be honest, it just goes for like 250. But yeah, excited for this. Let's go ahead and move on to the next store. All right, guys, so we're in a pretty sketchy part of town, so we gotta get in, the, get in and get out of this GameStop quick. So I have no idea if this area is actually sketchy, but I will say that as soon as we got out of the car, there was somebody trying to give away free phones, quote, quotation marks free. I, I don't know what was going on there, but I deemed it as sketchy because that was a pretty weird interaction. All right, guys, not gonna lie, that GameStop was a waste. Uh, we saw they had boxes in there for digital PS5 uh, used, regular PS5 used, Series X used. We, wait, we tried to get a hold of somebody for like 10 minutes to ask them if they actually had the digital PS5 in stock, and eventually it was like a new person that didn't know, and then they had to ask somebody else, and 
and we're giving this the time of day. And it, basically, we don't think they had it, but we're not 100% sure, but we left anyway. Weird experience. Let's go ahead and go on to the next one. All right, guys, so we're here at the next game stop. I don't see it yet, but we're in this outdoor mall thing. We're going to see if we can find it and see if they have something better than the last game stop. All right, guys, just checked out that GameStop. It was a pretty basic GameStop, nothing interesting. So we're moving on to the next one. And the funniest part was it had this sign on the front that said uh, you couldn't go in there if you're under 18. So I don't, I don't know what happened there, but let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, guys, on to the nail and spa for our last stop of the day, right next to the GameStop. Let's go. All right, guys, I ended up picking up a Series X at that GameStop. Couldn't find too much. It, they actually had a 360 box in display that we wanted, but they didn't have it in the back for whatever reason. But uh, yeah, I got a Series X and we'll check that out. So before I test out these consoles back in the studio, I just wanted to talk about a uh, pretty interesting experience we had on our way back home from Virginia. Um, <laughs> we had to stop for dinner, obviously, and we stopped at this uh, Mexican restaurant we found that was actually inside of a Days Inn, like, like the hotel. Um, you straight up had to walk through the lobby to get to the Mexican restaurant. It was like, it was fine once you got in there, it was normal and stuff, but uh, I just thought that was pretty funny and we, we thought we were in the wrong place at first, but nope, sure enough, there is a Mexican restaurant inside of the Days Inn. All right guys, we're back in the studio and in the rest of this video, we're gonna go ahead and go through the 3DS that I bought and also these DS and 3DS games that I bought as well and just kind of explore them, see if they work, that sort of thing. And then in the video tomorrow, we'll go through the Xbox Series X and the, and the Switch Lite. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up right here and see what GameStop gave me. If you guys like the Hampton Hall and the Texas Load, you should check out my brand new sticker sheet with six high quality vinyl stickers. As you can see, we've got Texas Load theme stickers, we've got Hampton Hall theme stickers. I'm really happy with how they turned out. You can pretty much stick them anywhere. And if you guys wanna support the series, check them out on my website down below called jrobgaming.com. I'll have them for 10 bucks plus free shipping. You can also check them out on Whatnot with my link down below. And if you lose my link down below to sign up for Whatnot, you'll get a $15 credit. So you can get these stickers for pretty cheap. Also, by the way, guys, I do have Hampton Hall shirts for sale down below on my website. They're really high quality. You won't be disappointed. So check them out down below. I still just, uh, I don't know. I, I find it kind of funny that GameStop still sells consoles in bags like these. Like it'd be a little nicer if they had a box. It's not a big deal, especially when you're in store, but they actually, I think they, I wonder if they ship them out in bags or if they actually ship them out in box. It doesn't matter, whatever. And yeah, so just taking a closer look at this thing, it is the, what is it, Aqua Blue, I think they call it. I think this might actually be like the OG model, like the one they released on launch day back in, what was like, I don't remember the year. Um, but this thing is pretty dang scratched up and scuffed up and smudges and stuff. So I don't think GameStop wiped it down at all. The back looks like it was dragged across the sidewalk, which is very plausible. These things are used by a lot of kids that kind of mess with stuff. Um, here on the inside, wow, the inside is really disgusting. It, it, most of this is pretty easily wipe, wipeable down, but the buttons seem to all click. Uh, yeah, cool. Let's go ahead and turn it on and just see if it does turn on. And the other thing to note is there is no SD card in the, here on the side, which is not surprising. I think GameStop is actually very strict about making sure they either remove SD cards or factory reset them now because I, I know they had some issues back in the past where they sold some SD cards with uh, very questionable things on them. I'll just put it that way, but it is. The console is booting up. Let's go ahead and uh, boot it all the way up and see if it works. Dude, I'm doing this, this 3D test now, man. This was a, uh, it was cool when it first came out, but the, like the, the 3DS is so janky, especially on the OG 3DS. Like it's, it's much better on the 3DS XL and the new 3DS XL, but uh, the first one is just like, you gotta keep it in one very specific spot for it to work. Not the best. All right, guys, we are booted up here. I do want to check the camera first. I have come running to a few 3DSs where the camera just straight up does not work. But a lot of times when the camera doesn't work, the console won't turn it on, on at all. So it's it's probably okay. But let's just test it out anyways. All right, all you can really see is the table. But yeah, the camera is definitely working. Uh, whatever, it doesn't really, who cares about the camera, honestly. Whoops, I just took a photo. Uh, but let's go ahead, go ahead and go back to the main menu and try out these games. So first up, I have New Super Mario Bros. 2. I also have Mario Party DS and then Mario Kart DS, and the prices on these games were not bad. Like, I think they're a little bit above market value, uh, but once you, I think you had to buy, what was it, buy two, get one free, so it was actually, it was a solid deal, and the uh, game looks pretty solid. Let's go ahead and put it in. I never actually played the this, this second uh, New Super Mario Bros. I played the first one on the DS with my friend a lot back in the day. Like, we played download play on that game, and that's a great sign. The, the, the cartridge is not, it's not reading. The pins on this thing are disgusting. Let me let me take a picture so you guys can see. I don't know. I mean, I guess taking a closer look at them, there's, it's not too bad, but obviously it's not working. So okay, there it goes. So sometimes I run into the 3DS sometimes where you have to plug it in twice for it to work. And now booting it up, I am curious to just to see what kind of save data we have on here and see how far people have progressed. I'm hoping GameStop kept the save data. Yeah, they did. So we got 
uh, World 2, World 1, so not too much play data. They got 57 Mario, 57 lives there. Yeah, so like I said, I have not actually played this version of New Super Mario Bros, so I'm not too familiar with it, but it looks like there's World 1, World 2, all the way up to World 6, and they've only up unlocked the second one, um, so nothing too crazy there. And we did see the other save only had World 1, so it's clearly working. I'm gonna go ahead and inject this one, and let's go ahead and try to play out, or play Mario Party DS and then Mario Kart DS. And I will say, I do like GameStop's little cartridges right here, like the cartridge cases they use. They are plastic, but it's just it's just nice for on the shelf and uh, when you buy it from them and it's not like loose in a plastic bag or whatever. It's just a little bit of an upgrade there, so I do enjoy that. Now let's go ahead and boot up Mario Party DS and make sure it works. Oh, we have a save file, Autumn, which is <laughs> Danny's wife's name, that's funny. I don't know what MP points are, I've never played Mario Party DS. The only ones I've played are, I played Mario Party on the GameCube and the Wii, maybe, and then Switch. But I guess they haven't played all that much because there's still a few game modes that are not unlocked locked here, like Score Scuffle, Boss Bash, and Rocket Rascals. Uh, but yeah, there's just that one save there, so the game is working. Let's just check out like party mode and story mode to see if there's any save data here. Yeah, so that's where our save data is. I do wish it gave us like a date or something. That would be really cool, but uh, oh well, it doesn't matter. The game is working. Let's go ahead and turn this one off or unplug this one. We'll put in Mario Kart DS to test that one out as well. All right, got yeah, Mario Kart pulled up. Let's go to the records here and see if there's any kind of, yeah, we got a little bit of, oh wow, that's not good. They got 18 wins and 39 losses and 12 wins and 13 losses on battle. Uh, wow, that's that's not amazing. Let's go ahead and see what all the characters they have unlocked here. So it looks like they have 10 characters unlocked. I'm honestly, I haven't played Mario Kart in DS in probably 15 years, so I don't remember if there's other characters you can un unlock or not. Uh, but yeah, that's what they have unlocked right now. Oh, we can check out the nickname here too. Cl <laughs> the nickname is Club Penguin. It's missing the end because there's not enough characters, but that <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. I guess this person loved Club Penguin. That's just, I don't know, that's just funny. Oh, did they make this emblem as well? I guess so. It's like a half black, half green shirt. I don't know if that's supposed to be some, from somewhere. Looks like a soccer jersey, honestly, uh, but I don't know. That's funny, man. All right, but anyways, this console is working. The three games are working, and overall, pretty good day at GameStops and a, a good day in the, the Hampton Hall. Now, make sure to tune in tomorrow for the next episode of the Hampton Hall where I go through the Series X and the Nintendo Switch, and then, of course, two days from now, I'll go through the entire lot of consoles, so... Stick around, and I'll see you guys next time.